Uh, Russia's post-production um, is predominantly working on post-production, on online post-production, so VFX, visual effects, color grading, motion graphics. Um, we work a lot on commercials, on title sequences. <laughs> Fourteen years ago, Russia says, well, let's have a film festival, let's showcase all this work that's being produced by our operators in their free time, and, and let's, let's get all of our friends and our fellow commercials production houses and independent production houses and all of our clients, and let's have a festival and a party, and look at this great work. Um, and that's what happened. When we say we're working with uh, young, new talent, that's very true, but what we're doing is we're taking people who are very new, just graduating film schools, or maybe they haven't even been to film school, and we're pitching them against people who've been around for a long time. Oh. So, so you've got this big professional sort of industry, and you've got all this new talent, and the professional industry hungry to find the new talent so they can work together and get the new fresh ideas. about giving you the most fully rounded experience as possible, where you can meet people, ask them their opinions, connect with those people, hear the tools, make the work, um, and then hopefully in the evenings you'll go along and you'll see the results of, of people networking and meeting a few years ago and they'll be on the screen in competition. The promotion of the festival for us, we do work with organisations like the British Council. So um, another uh, endorsement by them of us is that we'll be listed as one of their festivals. Um, and, and actually on the British Council website, there's a fantastic database of festivals all over the world. Um, you have to go to their film section on the British Council website. And if you go to the festivals directory, I think yeah, it's the festivals directory, and you pull down their, their list, they have every country and a calendar for each year, and it breaks it down, so it gives you the contact details of the festival, it lists what genres of work they're looking at and what they consider, mm -hmm. um, and a little write-up about that festival. So as a new filmmaker, organisations like that are brilliant to get in contact with, or just look on their website mm -hmm. and find out those details. Plus there's a BFI and you know the usual We've got a few. It's one of those you, you can't stop yourself, but uh, as you go through, like even on the first day of the festival this this year just gone, you were like, oh, next year we could do this. Next year we could do that. Next year we can do this. You have to sort of stop yourself doing that because we need to get this year over and done with. But um, essentially, our the core structure of the festival will be the same. Um, it might be that we revamp how people enter their work, so we might have just a live action category and you enter that and then you tick whether you're a newcomer or if you're an international filmmaker or if it's longer form, being between 15 and, 20, uh, 15 and 30 minutes. Um, it might be that we look at a way of exhibiting the Pushing Boundaries content and the music videos slightly differently so rather than putting them into a, a 90 minute program of work in a cinema, it might be we use a gallery space and have an exhibition of content or, you know, there are ideas around that. It, well, actually it's about marketing yourself, you know, as a filmmaker, mm -hmm. because without that, there's just no point, absolutely no point. You've got to have uh, an awareness of, of, of yourself and, and how you're going to market yourself your LinkedIn account, um, your social media, website. Um, it, you know, it, it's, it, it's just, it, you've got to be commercial. It's a business, you know, you've got to make a living out of this. And it, it, you, it's not enough that you're a brilliant cameraman and you just want to make film, mm. or you're a brilliant editor and you just want to cut up stuff. You know, you, you've got to have a sense about, you know, what you're going to be doing in five years time and and if you think about how many more people each year 
are joining the crowds who can hold a, a, a digital camera and start making some really good work. What's going to happen when that 14-year-old who was in the festival is 21? Because he's going to be your competition. He's your competition now. Is a nine-year-old next year going to enter and be competition for someone who's just graduating drum, um, film school? It's scary, you know? So if you get yourself linked in as soon as possible, if you get yourself a blog or a website where if you don't have a lot of content, at least you can say, this is what my aspirations are, and you know, links to clips. Be careful about how much stuff you put on websites like that, because you only want stuff that's, or work that's going to represent you, and you don't want hundreds of pieces of work. You want to have like a showreel that shows off the best bits of your work. Um, yeah, so I think if there's one piece of advice for a filmmaker, for anybody really, it's about your, your self-identity and, and knowing that.